All right, fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes in social media. And my name is Judson Powell. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons for me. But most of all, as we go through today, hit the love button. Love on folks. All right, anyway, here we go. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Let me clear my throat. Anyway, want to say um, my condolences to the family of, uh, of, of Shock G. Um, the rapper, of course, with Digital Underground, um, who actually discovered Tupac and uh, put him on. So, because, and, and produced, I think he, I don't really remember, but I, I, as I remember, he produced a lot of Tupac's records too. So a lot of those, I, I know he produced I Get Around. I'm not really sure about the other ones anymore, but I, I'll check it when I get off. Anyway, I want to talk about um, his death, but I want to, you know, be, we had Black Rob, and we also had DMX, okay? And it appears from, uh, even though they're not really putting it out there, but it appears that Shock G died um, from some, also from some type of drug overdose. Um, they said that he was found in a hotel room unresponsive. And um, so they, they, you know, they didn't um, exactly say the cause of death because I guess they're waiting on an autopsy because whenever you have a, you know, son found unre unresponsive and he was by himself, then they, they do an autopsy so they find out, you know, how exactly it was that he died. So now... Because he, you know, because of the possibility that he might have died from a from an overdose, I want to talk to y'all about how all of these black men are dying young, and even with my situation, um, you know, I, got, I had a dissected aorta. I have no idea, never heard of it, um, but only thirty percent of people survive from what I had. And then I, and then I'm, I'm like hearing all these. There's like a, a, a lot of suicides among black men. Uh, there's a lot of, um, in, in other words, it's just a lot of premature death um, because of because of health and wellness issues, because of drug and alcohol uh, use and abuse and all of that. And it seems to be a um, a running theme. Black men just aren't living as long. And the other thing is. Um, when you look out into the into the public uh, stratosphere, what you see is you see a lot of women in positions, and you see very few men taking on um, taking on bigger positions and stuff like that. I know they're out there, but they're not shown. And one reason that I feel, and 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 this was like in my in my dream, in my dreams, and in my meditation yesterday, just the fact that. Um, that they're trying to ex extinguish people from our race. The same thing is true, you know, when you look at COVID, like you you see a lot of men that have died from the COVID-19 uh, and you don't see that many women. I mean, I know there are women die, but but they make sure that they report on the men that die. Um, so, you know, that so that's kind of like my, my theme right now because I, I don't really think that they... Um, and when I say they, I mean the New World Order powers that be. And I know it's a conspiracy theory, but if you go and you look, then you got to ask yourself, why, why is this the case? Why, why are, you know, because in the mid, early, mid to late fifties, that's young. That's still young in today. You know, look at, look at your boy, the King of England, he died at 99. The queen, I think is 95 or something like that. So y'all, you know, so why is our life expectancy so much lower? And I and I believe when um, I checked this, I checked this, uh, I fact checked it, and you know, our our life expectancy is is in the in the low seventies, and other races of people they are almost to you know to. 80 years old and we know some people that you know we know some people that are older but the bottom line is is that black males don't have a long life expectancy 
And when you when you add in, you know, fratricide, murder, you know, murdering each other and all that kind of stuff, then it goes to, um, well, why why is that like that? And why are there so many why there's so many premature deaths among black males? Uh, we have, you know, we really got to look at that. And so um, spiritually, we look at it from the standpoint of, you know, um, what you do, uh, the, the consequences of your action, or if you invoke karma over your life, then you have a higher possibility uh, of dying young. And, and here's the thing, and it, and it also has to do with your chakra energy, because if you don't move up your chakras and get to at least the, at least the, um, you know, the, the, the Pinal chakra, um, because the other, the other chakra is actually outside of your body. So the seventh chakra is outside of your body, but, but truly, and, and then I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, say this is that they're truly 184 chakras in your vibration but the, the seven main ones are the ones that are that are you know talked about all the time but the thing about it is if you do not advance past you know past your your throat chakra if you don't advance past that then what are you what are you doing and um I, and, I, and it's funny because i remember a teaching by um oh god uh c freeman l and he was talking about how um, how not getting that knowledge and, and then transferring it to wisdom would, would make you vulnerable for premature death. And, uh, I, and I, I don't know how to get my hands on that teacher because it was like a long time ago. And this was when the man was still alive. He, he's gone on uh, in the universe. He's, he's traveling the universe now. So I have no idea in fact i try to look for it tonight uh when i get a chance but y y there's a there, you know premature death is the result of a lot of times it's just the result of our own um stupidity and the consequences of our actions or the consequences of somebody else's actions who choose to use their energy for evil so that that's why we know when you get assassinations and you get people that are being shot by other people and all that. A lot of times, what, what we're what we're dealing with is just you know just a lack of of knowledge, because obviously, if you were living under the principles of Mayat, you would not you know be out there trying to kill anybody, and you would be trying to get yourself in balance. And and so that you know and and the whole thing about balance is that once you have yourself in balance, you're not going to get you're not going to get too high and you're not going to get too low. And the thing about drugs is like drugs is, is a form of alchemy. And so you're changing the chemical makeup of your body. Every time you ingest drugs or alcohol into your body, you're changing the chemical makeup of your body. So and it'll make you, you know, it'll make you do things that you ordinarily would not do because of you know, because of the effects on your mind and on your mindset um, when you're when you're under the influence of, of something. That's why they, in fact, that's why they call alcohol spirits. You know, they call it because you're you're taking on other spirits, and then you have a you know, and and y'all all know about the, you know, there's like mean drunks and you know friendly drunks and you know people people act all kinds of different ways after they're high. And it doesn't, you know, some people mellow out, you know, some people, you know, get frantic and crazy. And and so that, that all depends on exactly, um, you know, what kind of drug you're doing and, and how you're doing it. And and that's why even when I was in the hospital, when I got out the hospital, they, you know, they was trying to pump me full of, of, uh, of, of painkillers. You know, they was just like, you know, call up, you can get painkillers at, at will. And I, you know, and people are like, man, you can get those and sell those. You know, it's like, well, you know, I wouldn't do that. But the bottom line is there are a lot of people on, on opioids and uh, heroin. Black Tower heroin has made a comeback. And of course, the, of course, it made a comeback because that's why. United States troops were in Afghanistan. Because why? I mean, that, that's the, that's the, the largest 
um, poppy producing com uh, country in the world. And there are, there are literally pictures of, of soldiers, you know, in, in the, in the poppy fields and all that. And it's, and, and a lot of people, you know, use it. And, and we're looking at it from the standpoint. And then now, um, looking at it from the standpoint of, of the use and the abuse of the drugs, but then now they're lacing stuff with fentanyl, uh, you know, and that's a, that's a result, a direct result of Michael Jackson. People started, people started using fentanyl because, you know, that's what, that's what Michael Jackson was on. So they're trying to, you know, so you have copycats out there that they're taking fentanyl. And also, you know, so they got, they got that, you know, they got the, the oxycondon or whatever you call it. That's what they were trying to give me. They were trying to give me like, like doses of oxy. And I was like, man, I don't want that stuff. And it was like, well, it'll take the pain away. I was like, look, I, I'd rather sit there. I'd rather take some ibuprofen or, or acetaminophen or something like that and just sit there and have to deal, you, you know, with the, with the pain. And, and the other thing is I've noticed, too, is that pain, you know, pain goes away uh, after a while. And, it, and it's funny how when you're taking stuff, the pain doesn't go away. It's a, it's a whole different ball game. So no, you know, from, and that's just from my own personal experience. I'm not saying that that's how it works with everybody, but I just knew that I didn't want to be addicted to opioids. I just didn't, you know? And, and so, you know, because every time I saw it, every time I saw a doctor, they were like, uh, let me write you a prescription. <laughs> you know? and, it's, and that's, and, and the, and the sad part about it is most of these people that are dying and stuff like that, they not, you know, they not die, they not drug addicts on the street or homeless or anything like that. What are they? They they're just normal everyday people that got caught up. And a lot of times they were prescribed these medications by who? By the by the doctor. So they were they were prescribed medications by the doctor. It's like, okay, so if you know you know, if it, that's the thing, if you know something's going to harm you, then you got to be smart enough not to use it or to know how to use it properly. Not saying, you know, because some people, they, you know, some people just, they're fun, what we call functional addicts. They can be, they can be addicted to stuff and still um, have the ability to function. But, but the main problem is, is that when it comes down to black men, um, you know, we, we seem to, find that find that uh that that crack to overdose and when i say that crack i mean the the the, the way to do it so we we need to be careful and we need to you know we need that my my whole thing but then again my whole thing was caused by what not taking my medication see so i wasn't taking my high blood pressure medication because i was just like i i want to I don't want to harm my, you know, my kidneys or my liver or something like that because that the, the thing about it is any any medication that you take, it's going to eventually in the long term it's going to have some type of side effect. It's almost like economics, <laughs> you know. If you if you take from one point and move to another point, then the point you took it from is going to decrease. And the same thing is true anytime you're taking any type of drugs. Uh, or you, you know, you're drinking or, you know, and, and like I said, the only thing that I know that's not, that's not like that is marijuana. And of course, because of my dreadlocks, I get accused of smoking marijuana all the time, even though I don't smoke marijuana. And you go drug test me right now. You know, when I'm, when I'm, when I'm high, I'm high off of meditation. A lot of times you feel uh, a euphoric feeling after, well, I do after I meditate and after I, you know, after I pray and, 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 um, and all of that meditation and prayer makes me high. Seriously changes my mind, changes my mindset. It makes me think, um, and, and takes me to a, to a deeper plane, but it, but it, it teaches me about myself. And that's why I try to encourage everybody to, you know, to meditate, to pray and do all of that kind of stuff. And, and, you know, and to, to do the things that are necessary in order to sustain you. Know yourself, because through meditation, you get to know yourself. So know yourself, and then what? 
then after you know yourself, be true to yourself. Be true to yourself. If you know something is a problem, you got to realize that it's a problem. Fastest 15 minutes is up. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit all the buttons. But most of all, um, hit the love button. I love y'all. Um, be safe out there.